Ooh, look what's sitting here, Ricky. Just found this on a table. Got the Harvest Moons, Grandia, yeah, yeah, Simpsons. Hey, Curtis, did you get a good deal? Uh, <laughs> I used to play that all the time, and I like literally don't even remember how to play it. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey. I'm sorry, I cheated. Y'all have to see this first booth. Holy moly, these are all mega bangers. Like, I was kind of just like peeking through this before I started filming. Look at this Colossus. Almost everything in here is like easily four to five hundred dollars each or more on a lot of this stuff look at this this video is sponsored by squarespace there's also a lot of um i'm gonna be honest a lot of a lot of sussy bussy stuff going on as well but wow there is a ton of this also it's super expensive but just wanted to show you all today at the swap meet i have a very specific goal in mind for the set i am going to complete well hopefully complete my capcom developed nes games yes i brought a list and everything i want to get every game developed by capcom we have left on the nes set and otherwise we're going to be buying it's going crazy curtis just told me he bought some crazy stuff too all right before before i tell you guys exactly what i'm looking for today as far as the capcom goes uh let's check out what uh curtis got boom big Dude. holy moly that big katana I've, I've spent some some money at the swap this is probably the most what did you spend this morning so far on all this stuff 800 800 okay yeah, right yeah, off so. the rip that's so. beautiful actually yeah that is awesome but i mean realistically he's being really fair because i told him about the shipping and all that process and like yeah, how yeah. long it sits and okay i'm gonna know. be honest with you dude this looks wild no, no, not even not even the craziest one What's the craziest one? Right here. Let's see. The Dark Stalkers, I would say, is the, the rarest Ooh, one. Ooh, Noob Saibot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. I was just, th this is, it I actually is. really love Dick Dark Stalkers and Felicia as the character in it, so. This is, I think it's numbered to 100, so it's like wow. super rare. Do you have an estimated value of what you think this is all worth? Uh, Give me a number. Like, hopefully around two. Okay, there you <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, I'm open around two. <laughs> Better open yeah. Hey, Curtis, did you get a good deal? I'll decide that. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Dang, look at this Hot Wheels, boy. Bro, nobody asked you. That's a. I, I, <laughs> you know this thing there. <laughs> What's it like being friends with Tony, dude? Uh, it's a dream, dream come true. Aww. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I'd say more the second. <laughs> yeah. You know what it's like to be Tony's friend? What? It's a. There you go. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, hey, you guys, the camera exists. Don't forget, please. Are you getting riff, there right now? Riff. Yeah, I'm getting this. Let's go, dude. I mean, I Is that three. sealed? No. Okay, I thought that was sealed. For a I second. mean, yes. But it's the challenge set challenge tape set. label variant. Curtis, hey, oh, she poppy. Let me see that. Let me see that. Sorry, sorry. Dang. Nice, dude. I mean, we obviously have Mario 3, so it doesn't add anything to the count yet, but still. It's pretty sick. Don't have any Capcom NES games on you? No. Dang it. <laughs> All right, so what I have left right now for Capcom is 1943 Capcom Gold Medal Challenge, Commando, Destiny of an Emperor. Mighty Final Fight and Trojan. I would say 1943 and Trojan are extremely easy to get, so hopefully I find those. Even Commando should be easy. I have a I have a case for that already. Ricky just grabbed all of this. Let's go. Controller, 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 Xbox, Xbox. Oh, do you guys know what this is? Is, is that for what? Is, PlayStation. Look. What in the world? It says PlayStation. We don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, this one's that. Yeah. This one's this. Those yeah. Two different variants. Yeah, dude. I've only seen this one. Dude, you haven't seen this one? No. Come on, my uncle created those. What is that? Oh, that's your mom's adapter. <laughs> Ooh, look what's sitting here, Ricky. He just found this on a table. PS3 Sports Champions. This is such a dumb game, by the way. <laughs> um, you find it everywhere, but... It's the most sealed game you can find, the most common. Cables might, might be in here, I'm not sure. We'll take a peek in a sec. We pulled out this. I didn't even know this was an outer sleeve. And look how much better that looks. Jeez, see, now that's nice. How much does this one, Golga? 80 bucks, Ricky. 40. 60, do I have 70? I do, he said he'd do it for 70 bucks. So I don't know if it works though. So that's the name of the game. And look at, obviously too, look at this review. I gotta put some cleaning into this. The box is what is the selling point though. Cause that's super clean. So for 70 bucks, risking it for the biscuit in it. 
So, okay. thank you. And thanks for watching. I also, I also, by the way, bought this and this 2012 Matchbox set earlier. So, I thought they were cool. But uh, there you go. So far, so good. I need Capcom games. I'll find, I want NES games, obviously. But dying for the Capcom games. But there was like seven NES games. Here's three that I needed off the list. We're looking at Barker Bill's Trick Shooting, which is like a gallery style NES game, which has shooting in it with the, the, the zapper. Magmax is decent. You can uh, load up your uh, layout. It's like an isometric side scrolling shooting and you kind of morph into a big robot. But the surprise one of the bunch, Mickey's Safari in Letterland. I don't know why that B really confuses me there. Uh, the game's like a decent playing little platformer. And when you finish each level, the best part is it'll be like, Fox! And it'll be like, at the end of the level, Mickey will say, X, O, X, Fox, O, O. And they replay the sound effect multiple times. T, I, E, O, O, I. That's three games that we didn't have right here. One, two, three. But Curtis can't find me any Capcom games yet, dude. What's up? Look, he wants to be on YouTube. Hey, he's famous now, bro. Oh! Let's see how many NES games this puts on. This is no exciting games to talk about. Dang it. So these three totally amazing games put us at 366 NES games. Okay. I have a big, 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 massive surprise at the end of the video. Um, a lot of people have asked, hey, how the heck are you getting so many NES games, especially as you're reaching, you know, close to 400 or so? How are these vendors? Are you randomly finding the ones you need? Well, I mean, the secret sauce is relationships. 99% of these people know exactly what I'm doing. They don't have my list necessarily of like what I need. I should maybe share that with them. But there, when they find NES games, a lot of them are, yes, bringing them to me and going, hey, do you need any of these for your set? So is it cheating? No, I would say it's building relationships. Relationships. It's kind of the smart way to do it. Uh, well, at least in my opinion for what we do. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can find some more today, but I'm, I'm really, really, really crossing fingers on Capcom. No joke, as I was filming some footage for you guys, that vendor just came over and said, I see you every week doing, what are you doing? I told her and she said, okay, I'll try to find NES games for you. I couldn't have wrote that better. I've never met her in my entire life. And that's how this stuff works. GameCube in here, right there. Ooh, this old Reebok hat is so cool. Look at that Reebok hat. Oh, that is awesome right there. I like this right here. Look at these sealed right here. Now, right now they're not selling this stuff because they're still getting themselves organized, but WCW wrestling cards in the sealed box. Oh man, this is a good little spot right back here. Man, I am struggling knowing none of this is for sale right now. Got the Harvest Moons, Grandia, yeah, yeah, Simpsons. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at this, is sealed right here. I don't want to mess up their stuff. We'll put it back yeah. nice and neat for them. Sealed. There's a lot of good stuff in here, but again, I don't want to mess up their pile because this isn't for sale yet. Look at this, dude. Maximo, Star Ocean, Final Fantasies, Mega Man. <laughs> Didn't you just scroll through a... Yep. You know, what was it over here? Where is it? Keep flipping. Dang, Parasite Eve's right there, too. Oh, gosh. Please sell that. They're not ready. They're not ready to sell them yet. Oh, Digimons, Yu-Gi-Ohs. Gosh darn it. I don't even want to open their stuff. I feel bad rifling through too much because, gosh dang it, people. All right, Ricky, put it in your pocket and run. <sighs> oh, there's like 20 of the WCW cards sealed. There's like 50 of them. What? Oh my gosh, gosh dang it. I really want to. Dang it. So after digging through these boxes for a while, it seems like they actually may have some interest in selling this stuff to us. Now, they're kind of throwing out numbers like you guys maybe want to buy everything at once. We have no idea how this may go, but I'm definitely very, very, very interested in all of this. So this could be huge. Anna says that is like the tip of what they have. She said she had, they had boxes and boxes. So she took my number. It's so funny, earlier I was talking about how connections is how I make all this happen. She's like, take my number, I'm gonna sell you guys everything in a bundle. So she's just putting all that to the side. She's not gonna sell it today to anybody. But the only things she was willing to say, hey, go ahead and take those, is these three. There was other ones, but these three were the only ones available that I needed. Flight of the Intruder, Garbage Game, 
Spot, great branding by 7up, boring game. It's like a puzzle game where you jump up and down. The best game of the bunch is Flying Warriors. So Flying Warriors is almost like the sound effects are like Fist of the North Star, but it's a side scroller, but it's also a fighting game, like a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. You can switch different playing modes. Super fun game, super worth it, and I gotta see how many games are right now. So with that, those games put me, put us at 369 uh, NES games. <laughs> What are you showing me, sir? Check this out, Rip. Wow, is that like a promo? Yes, I think. Jake Paul versus Tyson, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you feel it's like it's like vinyl, it's like not. You feel like it's that like is an outside poster. awesome, dude. How much was that? Twenty bucks. That's a steal. Yeah, Do you have any Capcom NES games, by the way? Capcom NES games? Is yeah. This your, your hit list. That's why I've less the ones in the the yellow. Uh, no Trojan? Man. You got Trojan? Not those no, type of Trojan. No, no, okay. oh, no, no. No? Uh, Austin, 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 uh, Austin, you got any? Can I spare you for some Capcom, sir? <laughs> Please. Uh, no, they're all at home. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, some Furbies. Are these vintage Furbies? What's the year on these puppies? Oh yeah, 98. What about this one? This one is also vintage, 98. I'm gonna look at these. See if I wanna sell me these puppies right here. Yes, and then a sock right here. Oh, hey, he has tags. Okay, that's not as bad. Sega branding, what's this Polaroid MTV? Ooh, empty box though. Otherwise, I'd be in on that. But actually, I do like, <gasps> you shut your mouth right now. You shut your mouth. This is a toy. <laughs> I'm buying that. I am buying that 100%. Ooh, and this, what is this Dragon Ball? Huh? What's this guy? Oh, it's like a little uh, lunchbox with a little food thingy to eat your rice. Where's Tony? I don't want to say that and get in trouble. <laughs> he just he just saw me and was like, oh, oh, oh. So I think he might have something for me. I got his Dragon Ball bag too. Let's see. I think he's going to pull something over for me right now. Ricky, he's pulling me something out, bro. Let's see. I'm going to see. Show me. Okay. And, and I'm going to get these over here too. Holy moly. These are huge. I've never seen one so big. Holy cow. And the donkey? Wow. How much are the Mario's? That's it. The set? 175. 175. Woo hoo! They are big boys. That's too rich for my blood for something like that. But wow, those are. Ricky's gonna freak out when he sees those for sure. Oh, yeah, I would take 300 on that for sure. Fan of the show said that someone just offered him 300 for it. I would say take that. 300 cash too? That's that that's better than eBay. That's any of that, dude. That's no fees, no taxes, none of that. You ever seen this doll, dude? Call dude, Call of Duty. What? <laughs> Cuddle on delivery. <laughs> delivery. What the heck? And there's this kid's sister right here, which is pretty. Ooh, that, look at that World Industries right there. Big old tech deck. Missing the bottom piece. Dang, that's actually kind of sick. I'm kind of sad that's missing the bottom. Oh, Ricky, hey, uh, I can do one out of, it's actually, it's actually one out of a thousand. Pretty good. That's because there's more pop because the front truck's mixing. Ricky, do you know physics of skateboarding? I don't. I broke my ankle. I, that's all I know. <laughs> Keeping it sexy. Oh, baby. Been trying to get Ricky to work out because this is his Ricky's name right here. What is Ricky's game with it? Yeah. What? She's a fine girl. You're a fine uh -huh. girl. Such a good oh. it be. Yeah, there we go. He knows. <laughs> he likes it. Gabo? Yeah. Gabo's here. Ah, the day's moving on quickly and I'm enjoying my time, but no Capcom games. Now I will say, soon I'm gonna reveal my little secret and my surprise. I'm getting antsy. Look at this, y'all. And it looked like this. <laughs> that is freaking large Mars right there. That is beautiful. What? Oh gosh. Jared, you better put in that clip right now. <laughs> From the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> yes, Ricky bought it. Dude, we'll, well, if you take this out of the plastic, if you're willing to, we can rotate it with the other boards that are in the podcast studio that are on that chair. It, is it even real? It, it, we think it's just bootleg, but that makes it so much better. I mean, it looks like the brand is Capiline. I, I don't know that brand, but it's 8.0. Worst case, you can skate it. Incredible. Say it anywhere else. This is the one. Is she actually missing a tooth, or did somebody do that? I, I, wait, I'm not sure. Is that in there? Is, what's up with this? This has never been opened. How does she have a blacked out tooth? What in the world? Someone must really not like her. One more time. I say we say Brandy. You're a fine girl. Such a fine girl, good one. Oh man, yeah. I don't know if I have this one. I actually do not think we have this. <laughs> we'll find out right now. We did not have it, but it's worth four dollars and she wanted ten. So I had to pass. <laughs> Look 
what our homies just walked up with. You guys ready to play the Nokia N-Gage cookie? Let me see the front. Who, where'd you find this? Just on a table at Jar. How much was it? Oh, it's like a dollar. Oh my gosh, who did that? What in the world? 10 bucks. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> Look at the size of that. Look at that Pikachu and Bulbasaur. <laughs> What's up, Lonzo? Oh my goodness, that is too big. That is literally, that's what, four feet tall? That's gotta be a four foot Pikachu. Four by three, four by three. What's up with that Mario though right there, bro? There he is. Wahoo! There you go, man. Thank you, dude, appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Oh, no, no, I got both. You're good. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man, appreciate it. I just grabbed this from the booth. Rick and Morty toilet paper that Ricky found for me, and then this tes Tesserame DOS sealed PC game, and then Ricky, Ricky got a goodie right here. All the, oh, well not all the OG, a lot of the OG Goosebumps books right there. Yeah, pretty cool. That's awesome, how much you pay for all of them? Uh, three bucks. Three bucks, that's actually a very good deal. <laughs> I was dude. like, oh cool. That's actually a steal of a deal. <laughs> all right, boys, yes. disappointed, very disappointed today. Not one Capcom game, but I knew I knew, I knew this was gonna happen, boys. So I came prepared. What? I'm sorry, I cheated. I bought this on Whatnot, and oh. I brought it. I knew oh my God. I bought it on Whatnot. From the guys at Collector Protector, listen, the deal was good, the deal was hot, I had to get it. I had to get it. Look at that condition. Dang. Mint. You know, I, I know it's cheating, all right? But, okay, but the reality is, we really do only have four Capcom games left. Did we add NES games to the set? Absolutely. Did we add Capcom games in the wild? No, well, except this one, but it's not in the wild. So that's gonna cross one off. One of the greatest games of all time. Ricky, what do you rate Mighty Final Fight as a game? Uh, I'd say out of 10, a nine. Yeah. It's a great game. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good Never played game. it, never played it. Never Chris said, never greatest never game ever, man. Never, never played it, no <laughs> rank. So remember all these crazy toys we showed you guys this morning? Our homies just bought out everything, every single one. And the value is pretty unbelievable. Pretty, pretty unbelievable. I'm just scrolling for you guys to kind of get an idea. Uh, but yeah, it is, and it goes all the way back. All right, this right here, crossing off Mighty Final Fight, just like that. It is off the lips. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I thought I was, yes, five left now. One, two, three, four, five left, putting us at 370. NES games in the set. <gasps> oh! Just picked up some Blu rays, Scott Pilgrim Blade Trilogy, which is just DVD though. The Wrestler sealed Blu ray, Matrix sealed Blu ray, and Fast and Furious Run Through 4 Blu ray. And Curtis, Got the Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah, little Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Got a little okay. Street Fighter right okay. there. Okay. So we got yes. Ponte from Pokemon. A little bullet from Nintendo. Oh. We got Lord of the Rings. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Your boy, your boy. You know, he came up, he came up. Immense from 2010. Here we are now at a place we've only ate once before Duke's Burgers. It's time to try it out and uh, hopefully get my. There he is. Look at that man right there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Stout. What'd you order? Huh? What'd you order? Bacon breakfast, baby, and some chocolate milk. Ooh, I got, I got, dude, I got steak nachos and a large chocolate this shake. Way better than what I got. <laughs> oh my god, I go with the, like the basic breakfast every time, dude. Oh, Curtis, in the comments the other day, I saw someone mad at us that we don't. How do I say this nicely? That we aren't poor anymore. He was like dead serious. So the comment the other day was like. The way you guys collect now is so dumb. You're basically showing everybody you have money. I miss the days when you were struggling to find this and that. And in my head, I'm like, you miss the days where I was struggling to like feed my family and had to go on unemployment. And it I was like, he's struggling and he doesn't like it when he sees somebody else not struggling. That's what I, it sounds like. I think ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. But also I think that like, uh, we're not telling you guys how the way like to collect. No, absolutely not. There is no right way. And that's what we say all the time. If you've never listened to the podcast before, that's something we said before, is wherever you're at financially is where you're, that's how you should collect. Yeah. If you're not in a state to be yeah. buying this crazy stuff, don't buy crazy stuff, but don't hate on people who have worked very hard. And like Ben always says, Ben's my favorite thing from Ben is, it's my money, I'll spend that however the crap I want to. 
You tell me. Yeah, yeah. Tiger, 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 up again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Curtis, do you think the way that I've been collecting in a way is cheating by telling vendors that I'm going for the NES set and they hold NES games and they will let me pick through them? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> the reason being is like you're going to get it one way or another and the fact that you're getting from somebody that you know and that we build relationships with. I mean, that's just key. I mean, that's how you have to get them, right? How else are you going to get them? In True. the trash? Yeah. yeah. They True. are few and far between to find anything nowadays. Yeah. So. And actually, too, as the set gets deeper and deeper, it's only going to get harder and harder to find stuff. So I have to be collecting this way. I get it. If I only did swap meets, like what I found in the wild and nothing else ever, don't have anyone hold anything, random table, I would never finish the set. There's games I've been collecting for 12 years that I've still never found to this date. Not even rare ones. So... Having a little help from vendors is what we got to do. What in the heck Dude, are this, you doing? This thing is piping us. It needs some air. I've never heard of somebody this is, stabbing this, it. This is what white, white guy is though. This is the whitest thing I've ever seen, bro. I saw this on a TikTok somewhere, brother. <laughs> dude, something came at, out of there. That's steam, dude. <laughs> okay, so we got like what? Seven NES games or so? I don't even honestly remember. Let's see how many of those NES games will work off the cuff, like straight up, plug it in, press power, let's go, no need for cleaning or that. Let's see, this will be our, our question of the day. Will I expect Mighty Final Fight to work because I bought it from someone online, actually a really good seller too. So let's see, of the other ones, how many swap meat fresh dirt jank games will work straight out of the go? Ladies and gents, I'm in my backyard and we'll have to test these soon because look, they are indeed working on our power and our power is out. So see you soon. It took about four and a half hours for them to get the power back on. But now that it's on, uh, before I try those NES games, let's randomly see what this big box is that I got. I gotta press pause really quick right here to tell you guys about our longest running sponsor, Squarespace. I love their videos collection. You can upload video content, organize your video library, and showcase your content in beautiful video pages or their online stores. Sell your products and services with an online store. Whether you sell physical goods, digital content, or services, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. I love me some analytics, and with Squarespace, you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. Get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head down to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I think I remember what this is as I was saying that. In the summer, it gets pretty hot in here, and in the podcast studio, the, the air, the AC can be a little loud. So I think this is apparently a very good quiet fan, according to, the, yep, that's what it is. I remember it was this brand, Drayo. I won't board you with that. It's a fan from the podcast studio. Also, before I do anything else, I have to point out how beautiful it has gotten today. It was so cloudy all day today, and now it is perfectly sunny. I'm gonna go do like a nice, probably a good seven mile run. You know, maybe I'll insert a clip later and have Jared put it in to show you guys how beautiful my daily run is. All right, y'all, jumping in to show you. This is where I run. Sorry, it's shaky. I am in the middle of my run, probably about three miles in right now. Um, I've been doing, my goal has always been around 40 to 45 miles a week. And I've always kind of kept that by doing six to seven miles a day. So typically I do six, six miles a day, seven miles a day, uh, probably six to seven days a week to meet that goal. And I've been doing it probably for around 15 years or so. Um, I'm a firm believer in, <laughs> I do it shirtless, tons of vitamin D. Um, it keeps me in such a good mood. And I think it's just part of my ecosystem of why I'm happy so often. Well, that and my faith in Jesus. That is the things that just keep me so equipped with being in a good mood and being thankful for life. And um, I highly recommend getting in, you know, workouts as often as you can, getting outside as often as you can and, you know, doing your best to make sure you're kind of, you know, doing things that are great for your, your mental well-being. And this is one of those huge things. Also for those, those worried about the, uh, or wondering about the physicality aspect, 
besides mental. Um, I've had people be like, oh, you're lucky. You're almost 40 and you're thin. I'm not thin, I'm very average. But um, I have to work for it. I gain weight very easy and I was a very big kid most of my life, all the way until junior high. And I can gain weight extremely easy. By the way, I'm going up a hill right now. So I'm kind of dying, but it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And I promise we're about to get back to the games, but I want to make sure this is very clear that this is not a flex. If anything, there are plenty of people in far better shape than me. Uh, Retro Ghetto is one of them. Also, I meant to say, as soon as I switched, my runs used to be on streets. When I switched from streets to more like mountainy area like this, my legs exploded. And I've been doing the same workout for years running. So I was doing whatnot the other night and I could see my legs in the reflection. And I was like, oh my gosh, they got so much bigger. So up in the workouts too. Another big thing I did is I, uh, I quit soda. July will be one year, no soda for me. I'll never have another soda again. I literally lost the desire, which is crazy. Took me over, over 20 years to quit with like actually trying to quit. Um, I don't drink caffeine. I intermittent fast. Okay, but that's enough of that. I love you guys. Back to the video games. Here's our NES games. We'll give them a try. I lied, guys. Come on, we're gonna try out the fan. Let's just be real. Let's see if it's actually quiet. Okay, there it goes. I mean, would I say it's super quiet? No. I actually really like fans super loud to sleep with, but not for the podcast studio. Yeah, I'm sure there's different settings and all that too, but oh, hey, get out of here. Oh yeah, baby. And now the game for the day. Will Mice, how many out of our seven games will work without cleaning them? Well, six from the swap meet. This one better work first try. Let's see. Let's do it, boys and girls. Let's get this one out of the way, y'all. Mighty Final Fight, game number one. Will you launch on first try? Volume up. Yep, just like that, baby. I wanna hear that music, though. Ready? Here it comes. Ready? Here's the music. Best music of all time right here. Ready? Up next, Will... Trick shooting, Barker Bills, work. First try, let's see, ready? Ready? Oh, she poppy! That's actually surprising, oh gosh! He almost killed that woman! That's a great intro screen, by the way. Next. That was the duck hunt dog laugh sound effect. Replay that, Jared. Great intro screen, by the way. Up next, we have a very drawn-on copy of Flight of the Intruder. And yes, I still blow my games out of habit. Ready? You'll see my face to know if it worked. Wow! Here we go. Cool. Oh, boy. That is some rough-sounding music. Yeah, this is not a game for me, by the way, y'all. This is not my type of game. All right, next one on the list, we got Mag Max. Debatably, really bad game. A lot of people hate this game. I think it's all right. So close. I feel like this one with the, even the slightest cleaning will work. But that's one down. Next game on the list, which man, I used to really enjoy this game as a kid, but as an adult, it's like just such a dumb, weird little puzzle game where you have to bounce up and down screen or go vertical. The coolest thing is the moves that Spot does are interesting. But, oh, wow, it was already on. I just broke this thing backwards. Let me see. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Wow, first try. Very impressive. Yep. Kind of fun little game right there, guys. You like that? Ready? Watch this. This is the best part. Watch his moves that he does. Watch. Do it. Come on. How do you get him to do it? What? Normally, don't you just push the button? What am I doing, guys? All right, and I already give up. <laughs> I used to play that all the time, and I like literally don't even remember how to play it anymore. And it's like the most simple game. That's that's my patience these days. But what can you expect when I have Flying Warriors and freaking Mighty Final Fight? You think I'm gonna play Spot? No. Also, y'all, I just realized Flying Warriors had the manual with it behind. There we go, that's a huge one. All right, here we go. The final game. Will it work? Come on, come on. Let's go, first try, first try. Wow! I'm so happy. Oh, you can see my reflection too. Yermonatsuki Project proudly presents 
flying That's how I expect them to say it. What a great little game, too, this is. Now everything feels right. Coming home, end of the day, back in my studio that I've worked so hard on for so many years to get right and having it feel right this time with the beautiful podcast studio, with the games, all in alphabetical order, by the way, playing Mighty Final Fight, and I must say, playing a banger of a game value-wise and gameplay-wise. It feels good to knock off one of the big ones off the list that's actually still a really good game. So this, this day, even though I kind of had to cheat a little bit to get Mighty Final Fight, I couldn't pass up the good deal online. It was too great and the condition is perfect. I am so thrilled. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you.